watching a lot of uh, interviews with, uh, you know, like homeless people and, um, you know, basically on YouTube and, you know, a little bit of the news and such, but then, you know, I, I took a second look at my family and just got... I don't know. I got it in my own head, I guess you could say. Um, what I don't understand is, and maybe I'm being biased. I don't. I don't really know what the what, what's going on right now, um, as far as my worldview. But <clears throat> I, I just don't understand. Like, I so. Before I started truck driving, my last job I had before I started got my CDO, I was working at Publix uh, Warehouse as a uh, selector, forklift driver, cherry picker, you know, whatever, right? Whatever, did, whatever, um, you know, got me a little bit of a raise. And I was making decent money. I was making between anywhere from 500 to uh, 850. And at the time, for me, that was great. I had a, uh, my grandparents let me use their, uh, one of their car, so I didn't really have to worry about, you know, a car payment and so on and so forth. So, that kind of helped me out quite a bit. <clears throat> but if I would have went and got me a car that had payments and everything, everything, I definitely wouldn't have made it. But, you know, I had me, um, an apartment at the time, it was 650 you know, think prices weren't as bad as they are now, um, back then anyway, but, uh, I don't know, it was just, it was just, I, it's just interesting, because I have family members that could get their CDL, or go into the military, or, um, you know, basically, like, there's a number of different things that they could do, I mean, sure, they could go to school, and blase, blase, but, there are certificate. There are um, massive amounts of certificate programs that you can go to as well. But I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the the, 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 the CDL part first, probably in its entire in its entire video. But what I don't understand is like you have an example, and I'm meaning myself, of what could do and what the and what amount of money you could make now I don't know about the rest of y'all probably a good portion of the of the you know company drivers out there and you know owner operators and so on and so forth we take we take for, we take this job for granted to be really honest because I know that Having my CDL is basically giving me the most money I've ever made. You know, like I said, the highest before that I got was, you know, 850, working my ass off, you know, sweating and everything else. You know, basically working out for 12 hours a day and then in a warehouse, killing myself, but thinking I'm actually doing something. But, you know, now I can make anywhere, you know, I can now, you know, you, I don't have to explain to you guys, like, you know that you, your income is, is, for the most part, starting off at, at, at damn, um, damn near, uh, 650 a, a check, starting off, and that's really, really low for this, for doing this, I just, I just don't get, like, how somebody can literally be on the verge of homelessness, or, and, and just not, you know, decide to go get your CDL and, and switch over, and I know you gotta put in a little bit of time and everything before you can, you know, start getting the, 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 the better checks, but, God, man, you'd rather sit at home in your mama's house pretending like you're actually doing something, and then lying to yourself and everybody else all together. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. How can you sit there with a smile on your face 
and think you're doing something with your life. You have no car, or you're on the verge of losing your car. You don't have you don't have a place to bring home, you know, uh, uh, a guy. A guy or a girl, you know, to do your thing, you gotta worry about, you know, oh, is such and such awake, uh, uh, is the, it, somebody, some of y'all's parents have alarms on your doors, oh, is, is, is the alarm gonna go off, oh, 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 uh, are they gonna be awake at this time, you know, living with your sister, brother, uh, mom, dad, grandparents, so on and so forth, ugh, I'm trying to go out on a, on a Saturday night to, you know, go get me some cheeks. Um, but now I gotta worry about um, bringing it back to the house. Oh, wait. I'll just get a hotel. Oh, now I gotta spend 50, 50 to $100 that I don't got anyway because I gotta get a decent hotel to take them to. You know, smash. And, like, what? Like, is that really all you worry about? Like, what about, like, when, when do we stop worrying about making money? Like, we all know that trucking that trucking companies prey on, um, you know, low income people, low 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 class people. Like, like, let's be real, man. If you come from the upper class, you ain't doing you ain't doing this job. Like, hiring from the boonies, the 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 the, the um, you know, the whole the whole redneck hillbillies or or or. You know, from the ghetto, like, come on, man. I just don't get it. Like, how can you how, how can you sit there and be hungry and not want to change your 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 environment? Or how can you sit there and let somebody literally disrespect you dead in your face, look you square in your eye, and be like, you ain't worth nothing. Or just smoke all, and I, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I'm talking about some green and everything like that. You know what I'm talking about? Some grass, whatever. Smoke um, five, six times a day, man. And then worry. And, and, and here's the crazy part: I don't get. You're gonna smoke. Let's just let you're gonna smoke three times a day: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna say it like that. And then worry about. And then say, oh, I don't care about that about this, that that job. You know, they can kick rocks. I'ma do me. And then and then you know they 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 do a random drug test on you and you're like, oh man, I'ma lose my job. I gotta hey man, you got some clean pee? I need I gotta I gotta test, I got a drug test I gotta do, man. Here be in this um in this in this um rubber or pissing this uh in this uh uh bottle so I can so I can smuggle it into the um the 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 drug test place so I can keep my job man when you could have just not smoked in the in, in the first place and being and being Gucci make it make sense to me man I don't get it and I you know I I mean I get I get the simple fact of okay yeah, I'm going to have a habit because, you know, life just sucks. But why are you not changing it? If it sucks so bad, why not change it? Like, are you saying, man, life just, oh, man, life, life, my life just, just is, is a train wreck. Well, okay, I hear you, man. I hear you, brother. I hear you, sis. So what are you doing to change it? Oh, I'm going to go back to school and do this and third. But, okay. Like, that's cool and all. But, uh... Two miles ahead. Turn left on ramp to Toll Plaza. Sorry about that, guys. GPS. Let me mute it real quick. Um... Yeah, that's cool and all, brother. But you got, uh... You got, you got a kid. You got two kids. If you, you know, if you're a woman and you got two kids and no, nothing, I don't know. God dang, man. I don't know. It's going to stay so hard for y'all guys. I, I'm... I, I'm sorry, it's just really hard for you, for you women that's got a kid and multiple, and multiple kids and, and you don't know what to do and the dad ain't helping out and now you're gonna try and put them on child support and they don't wanna pay child support and they know the ins and outs of how to get around it. I just feel so bad for y'all, I'm so sorry. 
so 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 sorry my my kids mother and my wife that we uh because you know i got i got different kids by different moms and uh women and everything but uh, it's uh yeah that that one's tough y'all probably have like one of the only excuses to me to be honest with you um because i because i watch my sister and she just goes through it but anyway back 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 to the topic at hand um what okay i'm gonna go to school i'm gonna go to school and in two three years four years i'm gonna have this degree and i'll be a nurse or i'll be a real estate person or i'll be this and i'll be that okay but you know you still got kids to feed you still got these the, 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 the light bill coming up on the 15th uh you know your, your 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 car just blew a tire, or uh, the AC stopped working in your in your car. If you're up north, the heat just stopped working in your car. Like, oh man, you know what what what, what are you gonna do that that right now though? Like I hear you talking about the future, that's good and, and all, but uh, uh, how does that help you right now? Oh well, you just. You just, you just don't understand, and you, you just, you just always nitpicking, like da 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 da. I'm like I'm always nitpicking. What are you talking about? I'm worried. I'm worried about you. I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to see how 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 how, how I can help improve your life. Like, do you have a plan? Like, let's talk about it, man. Like, let's let's figure it out. I care about you, so on and so forth. And if you're struggling like I like 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 I used to, and I see my family members and everything, you know I care about you too. Like I'm, oh my gosh. And honestly, you know what, guys? And honestly, you know what, guys? Like, if y'all got a little bit of money, maybe y'all, maybe you know, and your 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 sisters or your brothers and stuff are all struggling. I don't know, man, y'all. You could do a little bit. You could do um, a certain something to help somebody. Like it ain't all gotta be like just their fault. Like there's a few things you could do. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I would love, and I'm I'm, I'm really thinking about it. You know, being with VO Trucking, you know, you can make a bunch of money. And right now, um, I moved out of my me and my wife moved out of our apartment. We moved in with her parents. And, you know, we're gonna be there for a, a, a minimum of six months. Well, probably not a minimum. I mean, I can move out in two months, but we, we decided, you know, that we're gonna buy a house and everything six months from now. So you know, we're just stacking bread. Because honestly, these BL checks are mm, delicious. I'm, I'm loving every bit of it. But uh, you know, I'm thinking about you know, I'm, I, in six months. I'm not going to say the amount because, like I said, I know somebody be watching my stuff. I should be able to save a good little chunk of change and maybe start me like a little liquor store or barber shop or, or, or some type of, you know, small business. And honestly, you know what I'm going to do? I, I, I'm, I'm going to hire my sister to um to work work in it. And I'm going to pay her a decent wage so she can, you know, afford to live. And to be honest with you, oh well, you can't you can't trust family and this and the third. Well, okay, yeah, you know, I, that's true sometimes. But also, you know, times are hard. I'm gonna go ahead and take 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 a risk, hire her, still work my job, and I want her to learn that business as best she can. Basically, I'm creating a. I want to create a a, a, a a business for her, not to have, but to learn, to run, and do everything that I that I can't do to be there, because because she'll understand it. She's doing it day to day. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna check, make sure the books are all good, and. You know, see what needs improvement. You know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the the inside scoop from her, and then whenever she she you know she says, hey, 
uh, I'm thinking about switching jobs, I'm going to be like, hey, well, let me ask you this. What do you need to stay in this position? What amount of money do you want? Just give me a number and don't be conservative about it. Like, you know, whatever number you might have in your mind, add another 10000 10, on it per year. And that way, and that way you lock them in. And then, you know, you get some, you know, if your business makes a little bit of profit, you know, you, we've all worked for companies that say, oh, we do profit sharing and this and the third. Well, hey, if, uh, if your business is doing good, do a bonus um, quarterly or, or at the end of the year. Like, there's ways to go about it, man. Or you can start the business yourself. You ever heard of the, um, it, here, here's a good, here, here's a good one. Go, um, go on YouTube and type in Erica Williams. Middleman to Millions. I bought that course, um, and had it, she, she had it on, on, on a sale, but I bought that course, and, oh my God, it's such a, it was a powerhouse course, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if you have the time and energy, you can literally just make a business from your home and just hire contractors to get your brand out there and you just you just take you know 20% of the um of the bid in any in industry 